So your other option, if you don't have access to a wall outlet, and you can only plug in your computer and not also the MiFi, uh, you get this wire. It's a micro USB on one end, very small, and a regular USB on the other. And that goes in this slot. And it plugs in over here. So again, the wonderfulness of being wireless is gone. We're now wired. And again, we have a very stiff wire. I can't put this where I want to put it. It sort of goes where it wants to go. Um, and what's interesting now, and what really, really bummed me out, uh, was that when you do this, which it would end up being, when I discovered how bad the battery was, uh, this would end up being my typical mode, you know, having it plugged into the computer so I only have to take up one wall socket with power, you can't connect to it wirelessly. So now if we, and this was really, really disappointing. So now if we look in here, actually it just disappeared. It's now no longer an option. Uh, I can still connect to the internet using the ugly application that I was using previously with the, the stick, USB stick. But now we lose all of the coolness because I can't connect my iPhone to it. Other people can't connect to it. Um, it's just now it's just a dumb USB modem like any other dumb USB modem, uh, most of which are 80 to $100 cheaper. So that's super annoying. Um, worse, and, and shockingly, it doesn't charge while it's plugged into the computer. So if I know I'm going to be at, say, a coffee shop for a couple of hours, and I've only got one wall outlet, but then later on I'm not going to have access to electricity for a couple of hours, I, I'm sort of screwed because uh, I can plug in and get on the Internet like so, but it's not, you know, later on when I have to leave, it hasn't charged at all. It's just as dead as it was. Um, some more minor issues that I think are worth noting um, are that when it does, when the battery does die, this top green light starts flashing red, and there's nothing I can figure out to do to make it stop, and it's extremely distracting. So you end up putting a napkin over it or or something, uh, but it's really annoying. The other thing is that, and maybe this will wear off when these become more common, which I'm sure they will, um, is that it's really a novelty and it attracts a lot of attention. People ask you about it and um, if that's the kind of thing that annoys you, uh, you're going to want to put it away, but of course you can't put it away if the battery's dead. You have to leave it out. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, in terms of constructive criticism, one of the things I would, you know, recommend uh, is that you could make it a lot bigger, and I don't think anyone would care. I certainly wouldn't. Uh, if you tripled the size, that would be fine with me if that meant, you know, a 12-hour battery life. You know, if it's going to last longer than I'm going to work, then that's great. Uh, I don't really care if it's real small because it's going to be my bag. You know, it's it doesn't matter. Um, that would be great. Another thing I think I mentioned already was if it gave me a little beep before, you know, to warn me that the battery was going to go out. You know, the whole point of it is that it's going to be in your bag and out of sight. So you do need, you, you want to know if you're in the middle of doing something uh, that you're about to lose your internet connection. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to someone out there. I, for one, am going to be switching back to the USB modem because it's one less battery to worry about. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the next version of the MiFi because I think it's a great idea and will eventually catch on. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful.